Okay, uh, this is part two of uh, essential information lighting. I'm going to show you how to recreate uh, a kit that was produced sometime around 1900. Uh, it, it was a, an accessory kit that you could buy to install a reflector on a standard uh, Dietz lantern or any uh, kerosene lantern. So the first thing you do is uh, you got to acquire the parts. <clears throat> so you'd go to, in my case, I went to Home Depot and I bought a sheet of the, um, uh, what is that, 22 gauge uh, steel plate. Then I purchased a, uh, an original mercury reflector. If you notice, uh, mine does not have the uh, rod attached. If, you're, if you buy one and it does have it attached, you cut it off and you take the tab and bend it as shown. Now you uh, take your, uh, your steel and you cut a 6x6 six six piece and you uh, acquire some 12 gauge copper electrical Romex. You strip it and you get two 28 inch pieces. Then what you have to do is you have to flux and solder the wire to the uh, plate as shown so that uh, it's equidistant. <clears throat> now use, I used a Dremel for this. You, you cut a slot the size of the uh, tab on the reflector so that the reflector will slide through the uh, uh, metal. And then what I did was I painted the, uh, um, the plate in the color of the... Uh, of my lantern which uh, was a, a post World War II uh, Dietz color and it can it's very close if you use Hammerite 41125 dark blue hammered but only put it on lightly uh, the problem with Dietz lanterns is they never issued um, any color codes and every run had a little bit different color so anyway, <clears throat> you run your uh, uh, tab through the slot and attach it with a screw as shown. Just a sheet metal screw is all it's needed. Okay, now the way you're going to attach your reflector on the lower uh, part is you just wrap it around the... Uh, the arms as shown and same for the top now if you notice the uh, the bottom is longer than the top that is to force the reflector to angle downward so that it will uh, the light will go down onto the ground uh, ahead of you because this makes the lamp slightly tail heavy or the lantern slightly tail heavy and you have to compensate with the reflector okay now that you've seen it being built I think we ought to fire it up and you can see just how well it works at night Now again, this one is running on clean heat with a uh, Hattersley wick. And as you can see, looking into the uh, reflector, it is intensely bright. And I'll uh, take it outside the lab and show you just how far 
the light actually goes. You can see the uh, concentrated light as opposed to going everywhere all the light now goes out front and from the back you can see that nothing is really coming out of it and as you bring it around it's intensely bright all due to that uh, reflector so this is how you can increase the usefulness of your uh, Dietz lantern by uh, just putting a, uh, a mercury reflector from a, a, a table lamp or a, a wall lamp and uh, with some simple soldering skills you can make it Now what I set out to do was uh, create or recreate uh, a Rayo uh, a reflector lantern like what you see here and I found one but then I realized it was Catherine Thurow's lamp or lantern and it's the only one left that has never been fired and so that makes it a very expensive very rare uh, lantern so that's how I got started on uh, recreating the old kit to make my own